All right, now we wanna try on some product themes. You've mapped out your content, you have a basic structure built, so now you can see what theme is going to work best for the product that you're doing. Now, if you're starting to like feel your heart beat a little faster, or maybe you're getting a little warm, like, <gasps> what if I picked the wrong theme? Do not worry about it. It is easy to change themes, in my experience, when you're moving from theme to theme, between 60 and 75% of your content and pictures will transfer over. When it the remaining part that isn't transferring over, that's what you'll have to go in and redo if you switch themes down the road. I have switched themes numerous times on a few different products, and it does take about four hours for me to go in and update the information that didn't transfer. The stuff that's not gonna transfer is where you had it in a bucket in one theme, and the new theme doesn't have that bucket, so it doesn't have anywhere for it to go. So those, don't panic, and let's try some on. Now, you'll be on your dashboard for your product one that you're making, and you're under the appearance tab on the left-hand side. You'll see again, next is what turns on automatically. That is the default theme. Now, all you need to do is go up here in the upper right-hand corner and click pick a theme. Again, we're trying these on and the best way to do it is to go in and look at them. Now, if you have no clue where to start, let me encourage you, make a comment below this video, ask it over in the Slack channel, because there's plenty of us that have been using this since November of 15, and if we know what you're building, we can probably steer you in the direction of a couple of themes that we know work really well for what you're doing. I'm gonna show you one of my personal favorites right now, which is the classic theme. So we click on classic, it's what I used for PB Cup. So what you are seeing in this product is the classic theme, I have just customized it. So when you're here, you just click install theme. All this is going to do is put it into the library for this product. So you see, it'll tell you, yep, we successfully imported the theme. And right here, live is the next product. So if we want to turn on classic to get an idea of what it would look like, we go over here to the painters palette, which is customize. So click on customize, and that will open up our, you know, where we get to move things around. So you'll see, here are our chapters, our categories that we added. We can then customize what this looks like. So we're gonna click back, okay? We're gonna pretend like we customized it. We're gonna click save, okay? That's just showing you how, where it all goes. We're gonna go back to product one and go back to appearance. I need to turn this on, that's what I wanted to do. So when I go here, you'll see my choices are activate, edit the code, export it, rename, or delete it. We wanna activate it, okay? So we turn it on and now it says that it's live, okay? So this is great. Now we can preview. So click on preview. Again, if you wanna go in and customize, you can, but right now we're just trying stuff on. So this is what it looks like. And this does have a welcome post, which is nice. It's actually the first post of your first category. By default, you can um, make it something else and that happens under the customization, which I showed you just before this. But here are your categories, all right? Here are post one and two and three. They show up on the left-hand side. Here's the next chapter, the next category. Here are those posts, four, five, and six. And then finally, in our third category, here is post seven, eight, and nine. So that's the classic theme. I'm gonna show you what we'll do one more theme, but note that all you need to do is repeat this sequence when you're trying on themes. So we will click back, back to where we were. 
Okay, so we're on our main page. You can see we have next and classic listed. So now we're gonna hit pick a theme and we'll do Victoria. Some people really like this for the drop down features underneath the uh, main tabs. So we click install and they all have different variations on image sizes and what widgets are available and what kind of um, placement where things are. So we're going to click uh, on the three little dots. We're going to click activate because again, we're just trying to figure out which one do we like the aesthetic look of. Now know that when you're looking at this, every color, every font, just about everything you can change. So it is not going to look at all like an out of the box feature unless that's what you want. If you like it out of the box and you don't want to customize, they look incredible. But know that you can customize all of this and it is really, really easy. And if you have any questions, just ask, totally ask. So this is Victoria, which has the categories you can see chapter one two and three but this has the posts as a drop down okay so we don't have any text in here but you can see if i scrolled this is where it would show up so classic had tabs across the top and then the posts on i had it it defaults on the left hand side victoria has, okay, here, you know, if you had more categories, they would show up on this line, and then the posts show up underneath it. So that is how you try on themes. So please try on as many as you would like. If you want some help in terms of what do people really like about a theme, just start a thread. And between all of us, I think we've all pretty much tried all of the themes and either we have found things that make them really lovely to work with or we can share with you the obstacles that we ran into in terms of what product we were building and why we chose not to continue using that. Have fun. I cannot wait to see what theme you're choosing for your product. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.